In today's video, I will be showing you the proper way to apply for the GB2026 diversity lottery. But before we dive in, make sure you read the GB lottery requirements so to be sure that you are following the rules. You can check the videos that we include in the description on the GB lottery requirement. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, this video will be straightforward and I will only show you how to apply online using your PC. It's the same way using your phone. But if you want me to show you how to do it using your phone, make sure you comment down below. As soon as you click on the link included in the description, you will get to this page. Make sure you see our State Department website uh, for the 2026 diversity visa lottery is now open. If you don't see 2026, means you are in the wrong place. So make sure you use the link in the description. If you don't know the instructions for the GB 2026 diversity lottery, make sure you click your GB 2026 instructions so you read and be sure you are doing the right thing. To start the entry, you can either use the photo examples because remember, photos are the most important thing when it comes to GB lottery. If you are having a bad photo, then you might be kicked out of the game. Make sure you go to a photo studio or if you got a camera, you got a good phone, but I always recommend you go to a photo studio because the quality of the photo that come out from the camera is far more better than that of the phone. But it also depends. You can click on the photo examples right here to see the examples and also to know if your photo is good to go. Here, no shadows, uh, nothing. Your face should be looking direct to the camera. And if your photo is not yet cropped, you can also use a photo tool. You can also use Photoshop. I got the links in the description. You can click on the photo tool over here if you want to use the photo tool and crop your picture right away. All right, so you click on begin entry after reading the instructions, seeing the photo examples and other things. I will click on begin entry. It is a DB2026 diversity lottery because we are in 2024. When you apply the result, we get ready by May 2025. And you will prepare all the necessary things if you are being selected and you will travel in 2026. That's why we call it the GB2026 diversity lottery. Click on the begin entry. Make sure you put the correct authentication code like you see here on your screen. If it is not visible, you can click here to change it. Here we have capital E, capital S, capital R, capital E, capital E again, and capital K. Submit and they will tell you Okay, your last name or family name, your first name, your middle name. So my last name or family name is Azongfak. It doesn't matter if you type in small letters or capital letters. So that is my family name. And my first name is Armando. I don't have a middle name. Your name being three, that is Azongfak Keng Armando, doesn't mean that this second one is your middle name so put everything as it is on your birth certificate as it is on your passport or your id don't invent any other thing if you don't have a first name click on no first name if you don't have a middle name click on no middle name gender are you male are you a female so click on male birth date my birth month is june that is 606 june and your day is 15 and your year is 1990. Put your birth city, enter birth city only. Do not enter district, country, province, state, or something like that. If you don't have a birth city, or if you don't know, make sure you put the birth city unknown. So my birth city is Chico. All right, and your country where you were born, I will put the Cameroon. Put your country, the country where you were born, doesn't mean that it's your country of origin as it is on your birth certificate. Country of eligibility for the GB lottery. Are you claiming eligibility based on the country where you were born? Yes, 
So yes, it's checked already. If no, you put no, and then you will have to select a particular country where you are claiming eligibility. So if I click no, I will have the possibility to select a country among these countries. So I will go to yes, I am claiming eligibility where I was born. Enter and photograph. You can also click on the link to photo instruction or photo uh, example page right here. But I already got my photo already. I will click on choose new photo. I will go to all files to see the photos, I allow access to my computer. And there you select your photograph. Why wearing white in front of white is not a problem, but it's always good to put something different. It's not condemned by the DB lottery. I will go down to mailing address in care of it's optional address line one. You just have to put your address where you live is five one. So address line two is optional to your city um, in Funabashi. Japan, state of province, you put here your state of province, mine is Shiba. This stage here is not really important. If you don't master all these things, don't bother yourself too much because if at all you are selected, that is where you can modify your address. You can get to put a real address or something that will really uh, determine your position. If you don't have any postal code, you just click on no postal code, but I have mine, that means I will just type my postal code to 74 your country country where you live or the country of the address so i will put there japan country where you live today i live in japan so this is japan don't use someone else's email address because you might not get the information if at all you were selected and you want to proceed with everything Azonfak Armando. So after putting it here, you will still have to put here on confirm. That is the B section. I will continue typing. Put your highest level of education. I will put mine first degree, that is university degree. And then go down. What is your current marital status? You are on married. Check on married. Should in case you are married, you can click any of this married and my spouse is not a u.s citizen or u.s lawful permanent resident you click here if your spouse is a u.s citizen then you have to click this one or if you are married and maybe divorced if you are divorced you click on divorce click on widow legally separated any of this you will click on married i know most people will always choose married with your spouse not a u.s citizen so you will go down how many children you are having just put in the number of children that you have if you don't have any you put the zero and then you go down to continue since you are married you will have to complete the information about your spouse that is your spouse name first name middle name or last and family you complete all this you can go back to part one if you forgot something for example let's say you are having two children or a child and you maybe you chose to zero you will click on go back to part one before you say you are married make sure you have legal marriage document because if at all you are selected you will need all this information to proceed and one of the big advantages to multiply your chances for the GV lottery is by both of you and your spouse applying separately. That means your husband will apply. They can use the same photographs. If you have two kids, he will apply using the same photograph of the kids. He and you, let's say you select two children, two here, and then you go to continue fill in the information of your spouse like what we just did and then child one you put your first child name it must not be the first or the last child put it randomly they just want to distinguish between child one and child two put their names as on their birth certificate their mom their gender and everything you will also have to upload their photographs 
If you are having issues on how to take photographs of your kids, you should definitely check the video in the description. That will guide you on how you can easily take photographs without any big issue. And after filling all this information, you will just go to continue. Your photograph was successful uploaded, but there is this message. I made that intentional because I wanted to show you something. At least one data validation error occurred on this page. Please scroll down to see the specific error messages. So you will scroll this, check your name, check everything. You scroll down and see the error message. This is it. Please re-enter your email address. The two email address fields must match. So there is a mistake here. Azongfagarmando at gmail. Okay, dot com. I instead put dot comma. So I have to remove that A at the end, check your email address very well if they match, and then scroll down to number of children zero, and then you go. I'll go to continue. Part one has been done. Now is part two. Part two here is to check if all the information that you put in part one are correct. So kindly go through gradually to see if everything is okay your birth your mail your agenda and everything your country of origin country where you live today and your address and your country where you live your country of origin where you are claiming eligibility in fact all the information that you put there so if you want to go back to part one and modify something you will click here go back to part one like this let me just click one time this is part one okay you check everything again and then you go back to continue to confirm your application or to submit your application click on submit this is uh, a success message that means we successfully applied or we successfully submitted our ZV 2026 diversity lottery application. And what you will do next is to save this screen. Yeah, you can screenshot it if you are using your phone or you can use your, your phone to take a picture like this so that you take a picture and store it in your phone as well as you go to print, you have up here print when you click on print, it will come this way. If you have a printer installed in your computer, you can print it right away. But if you don't have a printer, then make sure you will change the settings here. You see, this is Adobe PDF, see more. You, you go to save as a PDF. If you can't print it right away, go to save and choose where you want it to be saved. And that is all. Put the name put your name, my confirmation number, so that in case you are searching for it, it would be very, very much easier for you to get there. That is exactly how you can apply for the GB2026 diversity lottery. It's not difficult. People will think it is difficult. They will pay people to apply for them. You can do this in less than a minute if you have everything ready with you. So if you enjoy watching this video and you want to uh, get more stuff like this one make sure you hit on the subscribe button if you are not already a subscriber and ring the bell so that you will always be alerted if you found this video helpful make sure you hit the like button make sure you comment and make sure you share so that other people can benefit commenting videos is a way to show support to every creator and it's like giving your feedback on that particular video so other people will get to see those positive feedback and will stick around watching that video. If you want to know how to use your phone to take TV lottery photos, how to use their digital camera to take TV lottery photos, or if you want to know how to use photo tool, use Photoshop in order to resize your photo, make sure you check this playlist right here. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now and please stay blessed and I wish you all the best during this 2026 Diversity Loitry. Amando.